How do you get straight A's by using a ruler? Welcome to our next problem solving strategy which is called working backwards. So just like a detective, you've got to imagine, like Sherlock Holmes, you've got to piece the, put the pieces of the puzzle together. So could you imagine the crown jewels have just been stolen? And so what we do as the detective is we look at the most obvious thing, the crown jewels are stolen, and then we link the information we have until hopefully we find out who stole the crown jewels. So it's the same in maths. We start at the end point, or the most po obvious piece of information, and then we, with each fact chosen, we research which should build a bridge between what we know to what we don't know. And while we work backwards, we've got to remember to swap the operator to its opposite. So a positive becomes a negative, so a plus becomes a minus, because we're working backwards, we're stepping backwards. And as you step through linking and building each of the facts, you should build and lead to an answer in the end. So let's have a look. So the first thing that we do in problem solving always is to read, and we have to read slowly and sometimes several times. Here it is. Jenny is a bus driver, starting from Homebush, travelling to Town Hall. At Strathfield, three people get on the bus. Five minutes later, the bus arrives at Burwood. Seven people get off the bus. At Ashfield, ten people get on the bus. Three minutes later, eight people get off the bus at Summer Hill. At Lewisham, eleven people get on the bus. Twelve minutes later, Five people get off the bus at Redfern. At Town Hall, it arrives with only 17 people. How many did the bus start with? So it's very good to write down what we know. And by writing down what we know, obviously we're clarifying and interpreting the problem, but also we're actually thinking through the solution. So always write it down. What do I know? So at Town Hall, seven people arrived. Then at Redfern, five people get off the bus. At Lewisham, 11 people get on the bus. At Summer Hill, eight people get off the bus. At Ashfield, 10 people get on the bus. At Burwood, seven people get off the bus. And at Stratfield, three people get on. What do I want to find out? Okay, so I want to find out the amount at Homebush, because I don't know it. So we work backwards. We go to the end point. The most obvious piece of information is at Town Hall, there are 17 people. And I know at the, the preceding stop that five people get off. Remember we're working backwards. The operator must be reversed. So when we're getting off, that's a negative. So what I have to do, because I'm working backwards, I must make it a positive. So 17 plus 5 equals 22. Then, just before that, 11 people get on. Getting on is a positive, so I have to do the opposite. So 22 minus 11 is 11. And just before that, eight people get off. So I have to reverse the operator again, so 11 plus 8 equals 19. And then just before that, 10 people get on. So getting on is a positive, so I have to subtract 10. So 19 minus 10 equals 9. And then just before that, 7 people get off. So getting off is a negative, so I have to do the opposite. I have to add it. 9 plus 7 equals 16. And remember at Stratfield, there were three people who got on, so I have to do the opposite, not, not add. I need to subtract 16 minus 3 equals 13. So there we have it. At Homebush, there were 13 people who were on that bus. And remember, when working backwards, start at the end point and reverse or swap the operator. So a negative becomes a positive or a positive becomes a negative. Good luck with your backwards research.